Aw, looks like Grandma's got a visitor. Wow, that's a lot of food. Wait, did you see any German brothers and sisters on the way here? Hmm, maybe she's just a sweet old grandma. But seriously, either way, don't go near the oven. Time for Grandma vs. Gadget's showdowns. Stay tuned for the bonus episode, too. Separating the yolks from the whites. <laughs> Kinda makes you wish they were just sold separately. Oh! Looks like a cross between Birdo and Babe. But it sure does get the job done. It's almost clean off. Huh, I wouldn't think to pair eggs with something that looks wow. like a pig. Well, maybe with a side of bacon, or ham, or sausage. Nothing like a relaxing night watching a movie together. Uh-oh, they're out of popcorn. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Cue the next gadget. Just pour in the kernels and push the button. You can already hear everything popping. Just keep that cover on, or the whole room's gonna get covered in popcorn. Oh, it's still spilling. Good idea. Add it to this giant bucket of... Oh, wait a minute. Eh, I guess you can never have too much popcorn. After all, you don't want to run out again. Mmm, potatoes. So delicious, but so hard to peel. Hmm, she had an idea. And I don't think it's just to make rice instead. It's a new gadget. You get a peeled potato and a really long potential french fry. But why stop at potatoes? Let's see what else this baby can peel. Remember, you peel it, you eat it. Aw, oh, some Ooh. fruit should be nice after all that junk food she gave you. <laughs> In other words, Granny's on a health kick. And we gotta be sneaky about our sweets. Let's just hope that this device can help us. Wow, it gives you a hollowed out banana. Still, let's not let all that good banana go to waste. But now for what we came for, using our banana's secret hiding place. Cue the Nutella. I've heard of chocolate covered bananas before, <laughs> but not banana covered chocolate. Come on, like you can really keep a secret from Granny? It's tea time. Some herbal tea can be a really good choice. Look at those leaves. Ew, a tea leaf. Oh, it looks like she's got something up her sleeves. A pink elephant? Oh, I see, it holds the leaves for you. So this way, all you get is just the nice smooth tea. And it comes in so many different flavors, from squirrel to manatee. Collect them all. Poor Nana. All those birthdays and no one's gotten her an electric mixer? Don't worry, you don't always need something electric to make things easier. Just watch, we can even mix the ingredients inside this giant bottle. Don't get any eggshells inside. And shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Really getting our money's worth out of these cookie cutters. Ooh. Mmm, there Grandma approved. 
Microwaves make cooking easier, but they're such a oh. pain to clean. Hey! Angry Mama? Are you sure? We might need Angry Grandma or even Great Grandma level. Don't let anyone know that's not her real hair or she'll get really angry. Don't let the mess intimidate you. She looks like a fighter. What? Did you think she'd just do the whole thing for you? She just made it a little easier. Time for cake. It's no one's birthday, but <laughs> Grandma knows you don't need an excuse for cake. Don't worry, they even have a gadget to help you serve cake. Seriously, there's something for everything. Look at how tightly it hugs the piece of cake. And don't forget the best part. You get to lick the device at the end. I knew I should have called dibs. Time for another snack. Ooh. Some fresh, healthy cherries. Oh. oh no, a lost tooth. I knew we should have stuck to cake and ice cream. Either way, we've come prepared. A handy dandy cherry pitter. Oh. Granny seems impressed. Guess she has to watch out for her dentures. B -b -b bonus episode. Uh -huh. When you can't decide between a ball pit or a pool, why not both? What a cute little whatever it is. What's she gonna do with it? Ooh, it's like a tiny little doorknob. But something tells me it won't be tiny for long. Told ya. But what are we gonna do with it? Throwing them on the wall? Kind of reminds me of that carnival game. Except the balloons are the darts. Wait a minute. So that's how you make that toy from before. I was wondering how they were connected. And now you can make a whole team of them. Grandsational stuff. Catch you next time. Luckily, we've got some gadgets that'll make cooking a breeze. And let's just assume she brought food, like this corn, while we weren't looking. Now we've got niblets small enough for all your mouse friends. Oh, a skewer. They can make easy corn kebabs you just pull out. <laughs> There's a special treat inside this bouquet. A dumpling maker. Wontons, here we come. Just add the sheet and the meat. Make a bunch and it's time to cook them up. But let's try another way with this gravy plate. Add some water around the rim. And keep pinching and folding until it's all closed up. Cut a little off the top and make a bunch. So, what shape do you like better? Next up is an egg opener. Time to crack some eggs. Just bang the top and your egg's open. 
Oh, and there's a prize inside. Of course, we can also crack an egg on a bowl. Or maybe not. I mean, it's open, but it's also kind of a mess, inside and out. Wow, a nutcracker, just like in the ballet. Let's see if he lives up to his name and cracks those nuts. The shell was no match. Enjoy your treat. But will an egg tray prove just as successful? Maybe with this hammer. Yay! Either way, you get your nuts. Wow! A banana slicer. But don't let the name fool you. It can do so much more, like hot dogs and cucumbers. So, if you ever wanted to stack all three, your wish is granted. Mm -hmm. A fork? Though it looks like this fork is getting a new look. Won't be as quick on long things, but works even better for small mm -hmm. stuff. <sighs> wow, it's hot! Can our next tool be an air conditioner? Well, it's the next best thing, an ice cube maker. It's like a little well. Oh, be careful. Don't want to waste all of that delicious soda. Oh man, that's one quick freezer. No, wait, it's our next idea. This egg tray isn't just for cracking nuts after all. Ew. And it looks like we're having fun with these ice pops. Guess someone learned their lesson about wasting soda. Let's see how they turned out. Oh, you can just pop them out. Well, they'll certainly add some flavor. Real or fake? These things will make great party favors. Cool. This thing brings food right to you at the push of a button. Ooh, I wonder if it cleans pores too. But the real trick is that it helps you vacuum seal all kinds of food. Do you think you can do the same thing with a straw? Let's hope you don't mind the smell or the taste. Is she okay? Well, one seems quicker. Something tells me this squirrel isn't into nuts. He's more into tea leaves. Just give his tail a nice soak, and he'll make you a cup of tea. But can an orange do a squirrel's job? We shall see. Scoop out the rind until it's empty. And then poke some holes in. Add your tea leaves and some hot water. Just watch it drip. I wonder if it has a fruity aftertaste. Wow, these molds can help you make rice balls in cool wow. shapes. Uh huh. Look at all the rice we have to choose from. Hope it's sticky. What cool shapes. Don't forget the fillings or toppings. Great idea! This will really bring out the teddy bear's face. 
These onigiri are really coming together. They're ready for their social media debut. Of course, there's more than one way to impress followers. Leave your face and arms and draw your dream outfit. Peanut butter can be the perfect medium. But toppings can really help make or break your look. This isn't exactly a spoon you eat soup with. But it's great for making meatballs, hence the name. Cook them up and they're great with pasta. What an interesting bib. Oh wait, that's no bib. It's a plastic bag. And it's giving her an idea. Squeeze and cut them out and you've got even more meatballs. Itch amazing stuff. Catch you next time. I think you dropped something. Remind me not to use those straws. Attack of the giant squirrel! Wow. Looks like our little elf friend here is clearly up to something. Oh, all those poor gummy bears. And candies and sprinkles. Ugh. But they didn't melt in vain. Now we've got a giant gummy bear. Mmm, cheese. The perennial favorite of cartoon mice. Mm. And it's great in so many ways. Whole, oh, grated, mm -hmm. uh, rainbow colored, apparently. Wow, they even remembered indigo. Now that's what I call fancy. This is going to be one happy grilled cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. Despite this, I still wow. think he's pretty happy. Mm -mm. An mm -hmm. apple. Oh, seems simple enough. Now that's more like it. Let's cut it up into cool shapes. Guess the first step to cutting them up is... Cutting them up. And it can even help you make quick kebabs. It's like a bouquet. And it looks like someone could use it. Personally, I don't care what shape chocolate is, as long as it's chocolate. But still, let's watch. Who knew that chocolate came in so many colors? How cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I think she likes it. Looks like it's time to boil some eggs. Scratch that. Make that break some eggs. You know, I always felt that egg whites needed some color. All that work separating the eggs, and they're just back together again. It's the taste of egg with the fun of cookie dough. Eh, jokes aside, Yay. eggs are actually good for your eyes. Wow. Uh. Guess we're having dinner and a show. Uh -huh. Are you sure you should leave that stick on? Yeah. Unless we're cooking balloons. I don't even know what to think. 
By the looks of it, I guess it was a water balloon. Now to dig into that shell. Mmm, purple. With a hint of stick. I told you we were getting dinner in a show. Huh, after all that eating, it's time for a snack. Ah yes, instant noodles. <laughs> hey, that's not our usual seasoning, or our usual noodles. I think I know this elf's favorite color. All seven of them. Wow. What? Literally taking food out of someone's mouth? Hey, that's just mean. <laughs> wow. An iron. <laughs> Hope this means more grilled cheese. Wouldn't be too keen on unicorns after well, one yeah. stole my ramen. <laughs> Guess this elf's a bigger person than me. It's almost too good to eat. Just kidding, I'll have the horn. An oh. Easter elf? I told Santa to offer a dental plan. Oh, so that's where the Easter Bunny gets his eggs. This sure is quicker than those vinegar dyes. You just knew this was coming. Wow! Oh! <gasps> Choo! Oops! Wow! A diamond! But still no <gasps> chocolate? Quick! Someone get this elf some jelly beans! <gasps> An emoji pancake pan! Seems pretty self explanatory. I'd be more surprised if these weren't different colors. Looks like they're done. Let's see some smiling faces. That purple one looks like he knows something. Now he's a crescent moon. Oh, oh no, oh. the bag! Hmm. How are we gonna get food now? Clearly I know little of elves and their banana summoning powers. Guess there's more than one way to skin a banana. There's gotta be an eating things with a face joke in here somewhere. With a fruit platter like this, who needs a zoo? Oh, Nutella. Great on toast, or just by itself. And the food lover's best friend, the spoon. Wait, don't eat the spoon. What are we going to use to eat soup with? Oh, we're just making spoon-shaped uh -huh. baked goods. Well. Guess it's okay to eat. We can always make some more. Oh. Uh. Wow. A spiral knife. Can't wait to see this in action. A cucumber. Always good to have some veggies with your gadgets. Yay! What? Graters, they're not just for cheese. It's a great thing we're not wasting the cucumber shell. Wow, it's a vegan sushi roll. Probably could have saved a few bucks using prop food. But that would kind of defeat showing off the gadgets, right? 
kitchen amazing stuff. Catch you next time. You know, they do make great presses nowadays. Well, at least this way we can say you put your foot in it. Yeah. Now add gummy worms to the juice and stir until you can't stir no more. Ugh. Look at that. Ugh. The stick doubles as a lollipop stick. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. Time for a fun day down at the farm. Sort of. This little piggy can help us separate our eggs. And look adorable while doing it, too. Ah. Hey. How about we make a trade with our friendly neighborhood vampire? Mm -hmm. You know, garlic is really powerful stuff. It gives you the power to separate eggs right at your fingertips. Mmm, an apple. What? How about we give it a nice peel first? And we have the perfect machine to do just that. Just give it a twirl, and the skin's practically gone. Judging by all these apples, I guess it's kind of addicting. Still, we shouldn't let all these delicious peels go to waste. Hmm. Now let's see, what can we do with these potatoes? But who needs a special machine when you've got power tools? Just stick the tater on the drill, keep the peeler close, and go. That was quick. Who wants french fries? You could eat your hot dog all at once, but where's the fun in that? This wiener dog will help you get bite-sized pieces. Puppy approved. Aww. Not that we needed a second opinion. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, it's stuck between your teeth? Some floss should fix that. Hmm. It's great at cutting up hot dogs, too. In every direction. Just use the unscented kind. Floss or string can make cooking them a little easier. Best of all, you can use it to make a necklace and always have snack close by. This miscellaneous tree sure is handy. Do you think it's got something to help us cut onions? Oh, look, it does! Seems simple enough. Put a chunk underneath and chop away. You can just pour it in your pan. But I guess we've got a lingering aroma. That's it. We'll cover your face with a pan lid. Just secure with your hood. And chop away. Careful with that knife. There's no such thing as too many potatoes. Think of all the chips. Add ketchup for flavor, a potato, and grind away. Do you think we can make corn into corn puffs? Careful now, vermicelli's a terrible thing to waste. Here's an idea, tie them up to fry them up. Don't forget to season for flavor. Oh, this is a crime against dumplings. Try this mold. Place the dough and filling on top and press down. Just plop into a pot of boiling water to cook. Now for the taste test. Got your sauce ready? Hmm, this glass could be useful in another way. Add little balls of meat to the dough and fold up. The glass will let you cut little circles out. And the only question left, should you boil or fry? Wow, these commercials are great! Uh, uh-oh, you ate all the popcorn. Well, we can fix that with this popcorn maker. Wow. 
time to pour in some kernels and watch the show. We've got enough popcorn for a matinee. Always wanted a popcorn bucket that doubles as a bathtub. Oh look, there's a prize inside! Skittles! Let's add to a skillet. Pour on some more kernels. With a little bit of oil, it's time to get ready for some rainbow popcorn. Let's scoop them up. What's this new device? A burger maker! Just spray the bottom and add the bun. Plus onions, cheese, the patty, and close up. Spray this part and we can crack an egg on top. Cover it up with a bun. Add just a little more spritz. Remove this disc and it all falls into place. Still, there's no harm using tongs. Who would have guessed that chicken and eggs go so well together? Ew. Did you know that cucumbers help with bloating? And a potassium-rich tomato will make a perfect substitute bun. We can even keep the onions and chicken patty. A handy-dandy toothpick will keep things in place. Personally, I'd flip it over and eat it like a candied apple. Okay, let's see what we got here. Milk, flour, eggs, sugar, and what's this? A pancake machine? <gasps> Just pour the ingredients. It even helps you measure. And it gives you a hand with blending everything together. Now for an easy release. These hotcakes sure look good. Stack them up. All we need now is the syrup. Uh-oh, we're out. The syrup seems so close, yet so far away. No, don't lick it. We've got a better idea. If we can't bring the syrup to the pancake, we'll bring the pancake to the syrup, so to speak. Mix in the bottle for chocolate pancakes. Mm -mm. Of course, if you want to put chocolate syrup on chocolate pancakes, nobody's stopping you. Let me guess, they cook them in the shell for flavor? Don't worry, this device will make peeling a day at the beach. But maybe this fork can do more than bringing food to your mouth. Just hook under the shell and peel away. Now you're ready for any seafood buffet. Mmm, buttered toast is so simple, yet so delicious. If only putting the butter on the toast wasn't so hard. Wow! Now it doesn't have to be. This device makes spreading butter as smooth as lipstick. You know, speaking of lipstick... Let's try the original! What? Just clean it out and use it to scoop up some butter. Add a cover for some safekeeping. Now you can always have butter on the go. It helps to bring your own toast, too. Buttered toast is just too good to only eat at home. Yeah, watermelon! Let's slice it up! Oh, and we have a device. I kinda thought she was gonna do the whole thing by hand. 
Oh, uh -huh. it's a skewer. Ouch! Let's use a bunch to turn this melon into a hedgehog. Cut in between, and you've got some slices on a stick. Kitchen-sational stuff! Catch you next time! Oh. <laughs> Would you look at that? A giant spoon! Well, that's one way to get your friends to share. <gasps> you know, they should just make it as a spork. and <laughs> they'd make it more universal. Oh, we all know where they're going with this. Mm. A cutter? What are you going to do to that pizza? Well, with such a tiny pizza, you can have pizza anytime. Hey, I call dibs on what's left over from all those cutouts. What's next? Wow, an ice mold after Lewis Carroll's heart. Wait, I think you're supposed to make two sets of those. Well, maybe they can make it work. Oh no! Quick, somebody turn on the air conditioning! Hmm, I think our next gadget may be seafood related. Not exactly. Oh, it singles out one strand to let you know when it's done. Just make sure not to eat the whole thing. This next one combines spoons with a scale. Wow, there's two of them! Oh. And a lot of her! Oh. Yeah, at some point, people will want their own spoons. Oh. Are you talking about the spoons or the clones? I've heard of a kitchen witch before. It's a shame we don't have a tiny broom for her. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty, and your little pea soup, too. Well, guess she's a good witch. <laughs> Finally, emojis that aren't just for phones or computers. You just gotta love food that comes in tubes. Commence the toppings! Fancy chocolate chip eyes! We all need a little work sometimes to look our best. Wait, is this a Squid Games reference? You know, something tells me that she likes it. Time to get some help from our friends under the sea. Meh! No, not SpongeBob! This lovely tea infusing sea cow. Mermaids wished they were this majestic. Is Superman really needed here? And if that fails, use scissors. <laughs> uh. 
Oh no! Do we have a doctor in the house? Good. A cherry pitter is just safer. Ooh, a cherry donut. Save some of that frosting for the cake. Then again, this device makes getting to the good stuff quicker. This thing proves that a lot of people just want frosting. So our cute little snail friends will help us make tea? You think these rainbow snails hang out with that sea cow? Really cuts out the middleman between you and the scrub brush. I wonder if these things help clean out pores. Well, if it's puppy approved. Great idea! Daddy penguins are practically made to watch eggs. And you can't help but love that tuxedo look. The ultimate kitchen hack. A bucket of fried chicken. This wing's not like the others. Anything that holds candy for you is doing something right. Oh man, this stuff just keeps on coming. Be sure to subscribe and catch you next time. Time once again for a friendly toy exchange. Hey, I said friendly. Spray on cheese. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't exactly call that a toy. Wow, did you know it could do that? Hey, what's with that look in her eyes? You know, you should probably ask before you put your mouth on something. What's this now? An egg opener? I never would have guessed eggs were so hard to break. Eh, don't worry, folks. That chick is just here to watch the show. Well, it said it would open them, and it opened them. You know, if the chick seems to like it, who am I to question it? Watermelon is healthy and delicious, but doesn't make a mess. If only cutting it up didn't have to be such a chore. Hint, hint. Wow, a watermelon slicer cutter. Isn't that kind of the same thing? Either way, it slices, or cuts, as advertised. Really getting your money's worth. Aw, cute. It's already in bite-sized pieces. I can finally toss that melon ball in. I was kind of hoping she was paying attention during our little presentation. Eh, let's just be happy she's eating more produce. What's next? Oh, here's a device for strawberries. But what makes them so special? Let's see what else it can do. Aha, uh -huh. you can use it on a tomato, too. Or a slice of pineapple. But why stop at food? Let's try it out on other things, like this little toy ball. Ha, <laughs> good idea. Just look at it come to pieces. So basically, it cuts anything soft and malleable. <laughs> That's good to know. Ah, uh, what a cute little frog. I think I will name him Kermit. And he's got a little pig friend, too. How <laughs> oddly appropriate. And together, they can suck up all those egg yolks. And look cute while doing it, I might add. Now, nothing can stop you from making meringue cookies. In other words, I want you to make some meringue cookies. If not for me, then for the pig. 
Aw, give us a kiss. What more treasures does the magic pot hold? A lemon squeezer. Well, it fits right on the lemon. So far, so good. Wow, it turns the lemon into a spritz bottle. You can really perk up that salmon and side salad. Or just do that. And this is why lemon juice is rarely the main event. Oh no, she's already gone mad with power. Will it work? Well, if she doesn't mind holding that big melon, why not? A cucumber sharpener. Wow. These kitchen gadgets are getting really specific. Well, first things first, let's try it out. If you ever need to shave a cucumber, your prayers have been answered. I wonder if it works on pickles, too. Okay, maybe we shouldn't let this girl stay in the kitchen unsupervised. What's next on the menu? Oh, how cute. It's a bunny. Ah, it's an egg mold. This should come in handy for Easter. Oh, look, a skull. Must be for Halloween. Or maybe she just likes skulls. Either way, let's see it in action. First, pour out the whites. How cute. The eye sockets are for the yolks. Let's steam it up. The bunny? Uh, we must have skipped a few scenes. Yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of a stencil not to stay in the lines. But to be fair, skulls aren't really supposed to Eww. have eyes anyway. Still, let's wish everyone a happy Groundhog Day. Or whatever this is for. What's up next? A finger knife. Huh, beats sharpening your nails. Technically, your thumb isn't a finger, but why split hairs? <gasps> yeah, be careful around sharp objects. Let's see it in action. Make sure to practice, and soon you'll work your way up to being Wolverine. Schnick, schnick. Yeah, I read that he's just a whiz in the kitchen. At least, when it comes to cutting. Of course, some people just don't have the patience to, well, use utensils. But they sometimes learn the hard way. It's not such a bad idea. Beware. I know girls who say the same thing about their acrylics. Well, whatever this next device is for, it's certainly alliterative. Oh, forget wordplay. Anything involving potatoes is A-OK -okay in my book. I mean, what other root vegetable can you make into chips and fries? Uh, aside from taro, that is. Dude, it's a baby tornado potato. Kind of looks like spiral pasta. Try to see if you can stretch it out. Three, two, one. Ha, even better. You get two potato spirals for the price of one. What else can we try this on? Oh, wow, a spiral carrot. Isn't that just adorable? And look, it's actually kind of bouncy. Up next, the cucumber. Best known for turning into pickles. Wow, she managed to make it a spiral while keeping the skin on. It's that trick where you cut a banana with a toothpick all over again. And just like the carrot, it's a little bit stretchy too. Okay, I think she's starting to get mad with power. Maybe we should move on. Yeah, good idea. What's next? Look, an orange peeler. Guess we're back to those items with really specific uses. Normally, I wouldn't want anything that peels stuff on my finger, but that seems to be par for the course here. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, great success. The part of the peel comes clean off. In other words, it's time for Clementines to step up their game. See, wow. it even opens up like a flower. Such a beautiful, what the? I was wondering what happened to her. Well, I guess that's another way to open up your orange. Still, I think people want a sense of style with their fruit. It's time for our next item. What's this now? A slicer? You're telling me that's the best name their marketing team could come up with? I mean, it's short and simple. I'm not complaining, but still. Well, either way, at least it seems to be working. That's good. Wow, tomatoes, radishes, and does it even work on strawberries? Yes, it does! I guess a tool like this really speaks for itself. Cool, are we making kebabs, but bite-sized? Well, this looks kind of cute. Oh, it's another slicing device. Let's try it. 
kind of looks like a comb, but don't put it in your hair. Put it in your onion. It's clever, but you kind of want a device that does the slicing for you. That said, she doesn't seem to mind. Actually, she seems to be getting a little too into all that slicing. Either this girl just got a catering job, or she's using up all our veggies. Oh well, at least we have another excuse to eat more vegetables. And when you're done slicing, the device adds a little bit of flair. Slice-tastic tools, right? Catch you next time! Alright, let's roll out some dough and poke a hole right down the middle. Place it in the oil until it's nice and fried. Dip it in some frosting. Don't forget the toppings, like sprinkles. And some chocolate sauce drizzle. And that's how you make donuts for hamsters. Stuff those cheeks! Cute dumpling? Oh, it's a piggy. I wonder if it's pork, <laughs> truffle. Well, whatever's inside, let's cook up a bunch. This little piggy's pink on the inside and the outside. Ah, cereal and milk. A tried and true breakfast classic. But there's nothing wrong with mixing things up once in a while. Let's do just that with this smart cereal glass. First things first, just add milk. Add the cereal to this separate, secret container. Once everything's secure, put it back together. Enjoy your cereal without it getting soggy and drink the milk. Sure, you could have just had dry cereal with a glass of milk. But this makes it easier for travel. Oh no, we're running low on snacks. Well, if we don't have chips, we can just make some. Add the flavor you want, plus a potato. Yeah, potatoes are kind of important for potato chips. Hey, I think one got on the floor. Do they really come out that crispy? <laughs> oh, magic microwave. What is your next gift? Uh, pink lighting? Oh, it's just in the back. And it's a sausage maker. They say no one likes seeing how the sausage is made. Not sure why, this looks like fun. Fill up that casing. These sausages are absolute bangers. Mmm, a sandwich. I'm starting to see why some people prefer wraps. Maybe the magic microwave can help. Oh, I see. This device collects whatever you spill. And uses it to fill up a taco. I'm wondering if we should have played it safe with a soft shell. Corn is delicious, but it always gets stuck in your tea. Here's something that can help. Huh? A corn sheller. Press down and all the kernels come off. Now just eat it all little by little. How do they fit this noodle maker in the magic microwave? Let's add the ingredients we want. Flour and spinach. 
Add some water gradually. All the best chefs add things gradually. It's like a rule or something. Now our noodles are coming out, and they look good. Hmm. Let's try huh? tomato pasta. Now we won't even need sauce. <laughs> How about a bell pepper? Huh? Food is just better as pasta. Huh. An ice maker? Well, seems simple enough. But no one said we had to fill it up with water. Don't have power over the elements? A freezer works just fine. And look, it comes out in cute little spheres. Wonder how this would taste in more orange soda. Maybe you should close your mouth. People might be watching. Or just start with getting the food inside your mouth. These chip holders will at least keep your hands clean. And it's great when you really don't want to touch something. I don't even want to know what that is. The best part about a burger is getting to customize it. Is that a chicken burger? Oh, fancy. If such a thing were possible, I'd say that's too much food. A burger reducer. Let's hope it's not too literal. Oh, good. It just flattens it so it can fit in your mouth. You know, you never have this problem with paninis. What does the magic microwave have for us now? A cake decorator. <laughs> Seems pretty self-explanatory. Huggy Wuggy, why didn't you tell us you were visiting? I'd have baked a cake, which we already have. Oh, never mind. Oh, looks delicious. And the best part, leftover frosting. We need something to help with these onions. Like pre-chopped onions. Ooh, the onion chopper should keep the fumes contained. Now she's chopping onions with a smile on. And it works on more things than just onions too. Whether it's vermicelli or udon, you just can't beat noodles. Might be a good idea to invest in a hairnet. A hair holder. Oh, a little different, but same idea. Also comes in handy for a flower costume. Maybe a lion. Ooh, flowers. Now there's an idea. Pour out some pancake batter. Make some circular cuts. And pour the batter of a different color. And we've got ourselves a pancake flour. Can't forget the pistol. That's what the middle is called. You can even eat the background. Hey, want some egg with your shells? Hmm. Wow, an egg opener. Does it work on hard-boiled ones? Would you look at that, a clean break. Of course, the best eggs are chocolate. Get straight to the filling, but save the chocolate for me, will ya? I can't believe there was actually food in this microwave. And we didn't even have to make these sausages. Just dice them up like so. And run a needle and thread through one end. 
Now they'll cook evenly and be easy to take out. And you can even wear them as a necklace. Huh, just kidding. Who can resist? Are things getting a little too hot in the kitchen? We need something to keep our cool. Just stick this device in the freezer. Now that it's nice and cold, add your favorite drink. And it transforms into a delicious slushy. It's soda you can eat with a spoon. Fantastic stuff! Catch you next time to quote the great Shrek, better old than in. Something fishy about this toilet paper. Ah, it's food! What about this shampoo? Wow! One way to find out. Although I guess you could have just cut into it too. Come on, don't mess with us! Can the toilet really be cake? Hey, save a slice for the rest of us. Careful, we need to separate the yolks from the whites. Now we'll never make that meringue. But maybe this little spider can help. Crack an egg on top. The yolk stays put while the whites slide down. A food serving train? Good, I always like a meal when I travel. Don't forget the caboose. Mmm, with condiments like this, who needs food? Wow! Okay, maybe a little food wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Which dip will it be? Why not all three? Clearly, this girl has an exquisite palate. Uh-oh. Pauline's having one of her perils again. Hurry, quick! Or there's gonna be ketchup flying everywhere! Oh good, the train stopped. Kinda forgot they could do that. Some nice tea will be soothing. You know, some people use just one bag at a time. Don't worry, Mr. Penguin wow. here's got you covered. Just hang the tea bag around his beak. Turn the dial and he'll lower it right into your cup. Let it spin around and it'll lift it up just in time. Now you can enjoy your drink. Next, let's try out a little experiment and give these cookies a full body dunk. Now for a nice big spoonful of, uh-oh. It's time to think outside the spoon. An ice cream scoop. Dunk inside ice cream or some ice cream-like substance. Wow! Press the lever and it all comes out. You can't go wrong with a cone and sprinkles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's add more scoops, every color of the rainbow. Wow! Well, it's good, but next time, let's reach the ceiling. <laughs> Okay, we need tiny cuts. And by the looks of it, we'll be at this all day. There's just gotta be an easier way. Try this. Wow, these scissors are like an optical illusion. Make multiple cuts at once. What a time saver. And it works on peppers, sausages, all sorts of things. Now we're ready for breakfast. Don't forget the herbs after all that. 
You'd think she'd learned her lesson about tea. Finally, a drink that requires a toothpick. Once again, our bird friends will come to the rescue. Just place tea leaves inside this flamingo. Place in a cup and add hot water. Just look at it transform the water into tea! Refreshing. And there's no need to floss. If you're a tea lover, why not collect the whole zoo? You know what goes great with cereal? Bugs! Eh, just kidding. They're not real bugs. They're bag clips. Close the bag and save the rest for later. Look at that. A ramen noodle notepad! Write a note and peel away. And add an extra level of security to your food. Of course, the bugs will probably help with that, too. Let's mix things up and start with the device. A donut mold. So, naturally, let's make some donuts. Save the holes. We can make munchkins. Now fry them up and let them cool. Can't forget the frosting. We've got something special. Nutella. Drizzle it on. You know what's next. Sprinkles! <laughs> and what a bouquet! Mm. Ooh, huh? what's in the box? Diamond ice cubes? And this little funnel will help keep us precise. <laughs> we just need to plop it in the freezer. Now we'll have some diamonds for our treasure chest. <laughs> All this pirate's gonna get is sticky hands. Oh, slaving over a hot stove sure keeps you sweating. Guess we don't need that in-home sauna after all. Oh. Headphones? Wait, no. It's a neck fan! Hmm. A fan for your neck. Pretty self-explanatory, really. And it's great if you want that windblown look. Selfie time! Ever get the feeling we're forgetting something? Yum! A watermelon! That's one way to slice it up. Here's another way. A fruit slicer. Look, you get to take it apart. And you can always use the right tool for the job. There's even a little melon baller. What a work of art! Almost too good to eat. Now there's gotta be an easier way to squeeze fruit. A lemon squeezer? Okay, let's try it out. Place the lemon inside. Remove the plug and give it a good squeeze. Just add sugar and water, and we've got lemonade! Hey, we don't do free samples. food stuff! Catch you next time! Mmm, delicious lunch. Huh? What the? This burger is a lie! Well, at least it's squishy. And so is this donut. Personally, I prefer cheese pizza, but this is still fun. I'm starting to think that's not chocolate ice cream. Okay, let's separate the yolks. Hmm, looks like we're gonna need some special help. Hey! An egg separator, just what we needed. Seriously. What you waiting for? Crack an egg! Now let's pour out the whites. Kinda runny, isn't it? 
Don't forget about all those yolks, either. Hmm. Looks like Oops. you're a little runny, too. You've started a trend. Who's ready to make banana pudding? Not too hard now. Then again, potassium's good for your skin. Next time, let's just use our little sheep friend. After all, he's a banana presser. Add the fruit. And it's all ready in a few shakes of a lamb's tail. Ooh, it kind of looks like string cheese. Either way, tell that sheep it's shaving time. Sorry, he doesn't eat breakfast. More for us. And it's the perfect chance to use our garlic mincer. Forget bite-sized. This goes right to the taste bud. Scoop it out. It's all good to the last drop. Nah. Oh no, he's back and he's still hungry. That's one way to get someone to cut your food for you. Oh, so many nuts. And here we are without a nutcracker. Or even a sugar plum fairy. Wait, I still think we should get one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ceiling. It may not look like it, but it's our brand new nutcracker. Let's try it out. Push down, and it works! I'd say you've earned yourself a treat. Oh, first a vampire, now a g g ghost Quick! Someone needs to call Scooby-Doo! What? No, it's just our new gadget! An auto-mixer! Swirl these colors around and around. Now this crepe is a work of art! Wow. Who wants salad? Let's start by cutting up this cucumber. Okay, we're gonna need some help. And here it is! Ooh, it's a quick slicer! My favorite speed! Add a veggie and the chips start flying. Looks good, but it isn't just for veggies. It's raining cats and dogs, but without the cats. Good morning! You could use a coffee. Well, good thing it's laundry day. Just add some water and powder in our tiny washing machine. Press the button, close the lid, and drain away. Well, this should help perk you up. And look, it even does laundry too! Just what exactly are you feeding our chickens? Guess it's time to get cracking. Or better yet, let's try out our new eggshell opener. We just need to take a little off the top. Look what's inside. Candy! A unicorn! Unicorn candy! Hey, careful! Don't forget about gravity! That s'more sure is fun, but I'd prefer something edible. But why choose? We've got a marshmallow melter. So let's make s'mores. Add a cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, and another cracker. Why not make two? Seal it in nice and tight, cause it's time to bring on the heat. Oh, just look at those marshmallows! 
give it time to cool and enjoy. Oh wow, for a second I thought she needed a manicure. Hey, what's that? Ooh, a wiener slicer. Just add the wiener and twist it around. Keep going and soon you'll have a sausage with a spiral cut. Now they're the perfect thing for our breakfast smile. Oh, cheese on toast. So simple, so fragile. Maybe this sandwich cutter will help us. Add some cheese, shred it this time. Let's add some color. How about all of them? Now it's time to get cutting. I guess someone really doesn't like crusts. We're just getting started. Let's press it. And when life gives you cheese, grill it. Yay! No matter what color it is, cheese is always best gooey. <laughs> Hard-boiled eggs are delicious, but peeling them is a different story. Nah. Unless, of course, you've got hey. an egg peeler. Which we do. Good for us. So convenient. Just give the egg a good shake. And look, the peel comes right off. Just like that, it's all ready for dinner. You're supposed to boil the eggs before you crack them, but not anymore. Yes. Take an egg and crack it into the mold. Look, there are shapes on the bottom. those molds in a strainer. Add a lid on top. All that's left is to add some steam. Let it cook and the eggs are practically hard boiled. Just without all those pesky shells to peel. Look at all those shapes. Look, it's a bunny. Something tells me we should follow these paw prints. Oh, buried treasure! We're gonna need a shovel. Spoon. A shovel spoon! Let's dig. What do you think we're gonna find? Oh, look at all these different jewels. They're so colorful and shiny. Uh, this one looks different. Ooh, it's a golden coin. How much is it? It's like a wooden nickel, but without the splinters. Hot dog. Wow. It's a hot dog toaster. Wow. Told you that hot dog tree would pay for itself. Just plop those sausages inside. And look, it'll help toast the buns for you too. Mmm, nice and toasty. Just bring it together and add some ketchup. Or maybe mustard, relish, hmm. cheese. Ooh, hot sauce. <laughs> Remember, aim for your mouth. Wait, the cooked eggs are for the other skit. Food panda stuff. Catch you next time. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Grandma laid an egg. Wow. Well, it sure beats paying those store prices. What? Oh, I think someone's at the door. Who is it? Hmm. Well, whoever it was, they left their backpack. What? Let's take it inside. Hmm. Meanwhile, we also gotta separate these eggs. Mm, gesundheit. Oh, it looks like Mr. Backpack can help. A yolk separator. Yes. Try it out. Just crack an egg on top. Now it's time to get things running. 
pour out those yolks. We're making meringues. Mmm, corn. Time to sink your teeth in. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Well, it's okay. Make like a banana and peel that corn. I wonder what else it can peel. Give it a good squeeze. Oh no! Your glasses! And you can't see a thing without your glasses! When did that pigeon get in here? Oh wait, that's no bird! It's a gravy boat! But it's not just for gravy! Add that lemon! We've got juice! Now perk up that tea! Mmm, good to the last drop! Huh, maybe we should have started with donut holes! Or maybe we just need the right tool! Good thing we still got all this batter! Give it a push, and the donuts just plop out! Flip them over once they're golden brown! They're ready! Once it cools, take a bite! Of course, we can't forget about <laughs> topics! Especially sprinkles! This carrot needs some tenderizing! Or better yet, mashing! Add some inside! And squeeze until it comes out like Play-Doh! Try this on all your favorite veggies! But the real fun comes next! Getting to eat! <laughs> Careful! Stay inside the bowl! <laughs> the bowl! Okay, that whisk isn't cutting it. Or whisking it. This sauce stirs great for a hands-off experience. Just make sure to keep an eye on it. Now you've got a date with some sauce. Meanwhile, let's catch up on some knitting. It's time to grate some cheese! Careful! Little more! Huh, barely made a dent in those hot dogs! Oh my god! Don't worry, we can always try a little hand guard! Now you can grate anything you want! Granted, not everything needs to be grated! Gummy worms should be eaten al dente! Mmm, noodles! And we've got oodles! You know, it's even more fun to eat it! Uh -oh. What a tangled web she weaves! This looks like a job for our T-Rex chopsticks! It's a utensil that works on both ends! Great for those hard-to-reach bites! First Jack Horner in that pie, now this! If you're gonna stick your thumb in food, you're gonna need some help! It's slicing with a hands-on approach! And it'll let you tackle the whole produce aisle! Now everyone will want to peel potatoes! Who needs a green thumb when we've got orange? Aww. Just don't forget to eat the food when you're done! Wow, I never saw cookie dough leak before! It's not a hair dryer, it's a cookie press! 
Add whatever cookie cutter design you like. Just press. And pretty soon, we've got cookies. Look, it can be as easy as stamping. And I think we've got some left over too. Ah, bread and butter. So wow. simple, and yet so good. No wonder Madeline eats it every day. If only the butter could actually oh, spread. No. Luckily, butter lipstick runs smooth. Well, that'll wet your whistle. But let's save some for the toast. Get into every nook and cranny. Nah. Now let's try some English muffins. Ooh, and a bagel. <laughs> Time to drain the pasta. Oh, whoops. Oh, so Ew. who wants pizza? Come on. Oh, wait. Hey. Maybe this pasta strainer can help. Just add to the side and pour. The pasta's safe and sound. And I've got a great sauce recipe. Ooh, Grandma's mastered the whisk. Just in time for her special cookie recipe. Of course, right now it's in more of a pancake stage. But that's nothing <laughs> our cookie stamp press can't fix. Wow. And look at all the different stamps. Now into the oven they go. Why not take a bite? Ah, cookies. So good, you can't stop at just one. Some food's <laughs> mouth-watering. Onions aim for the eyes. Wow, that's pungent. Good thing she's in the shower. Apparently, it's okay. Rubber Ducky's got your back. A new pair of glasses is all you needed. Wow! They'll protect your eyes from watering. So get shopping! <laughs> hey, it is tea time. Oh, that's too hot. Let's try something cool. Take this silicone mold and fill it up with tea bags. Now, if we want to make ice, we're going to need some water. Wow! Gotta love any excuse to use a funnel. Now stick it in the freezer and give it time. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's take these tea spheres out for a spin. Yay! No, not like that. Add it to the water for a brand new twist on iced tea. This'll go great with some green tea ice cream. Grandma marvelous stuff. Catch you next time. Ooh, jelly ducks. And the flock's all here. And it's just so squishy, too. Maybe I shouldn't have said squish. Hey, keep your slime to yourself. Ew. Well, into the mini unicorn it goes. And soon, we've got <laughs> unicorn candies. <laughs> ah, she's always scooping rainbows. Oh, calm down. We can always make more. 
Start by grinding up some cookies in a blender. Next, let's pour it out into a tray. And unwrap a whole bunch of candies. Roll them up together. And whip it up into a spiral. And soon, we've got a brand new batch of rainbow swirls. I'm getting deja vu. Oh, the jelly's new. You've got the sweetest little horn. Especially when it comes with filling. But there's always room for improvement. And by improvement, I mean sprinkles. Let's see if it passes the taste test. It does! With flying colors. But they don't all have jelly inside. Some have powder instead. And by powder, I mean bubble gum. Aw, so cute. But horses are always a classic. Still, who can say no to a makeover? Let's just finish up your haircut. and pour on some melted chocolate. And now it's time for a pedicure. Add some sparkle to those hooves. But don't forget some new hair. We're gonna need some rainbows, lots of them. This pony looks good enough to eat. And I think she'll do just that. Ooh, a squishy unicorn. Let's blow it up. Wait, don't! Oh, you just had to burst her bubble. Well, if we can't beat him, join him. Slice up another squishy unicorn and fill it up with some sprinkles and lemonade. I think she's had her fill. In fact, I think you've sprung a leak. Either way, I think she's got enough to share. Uh-oh, look out, unicorn! Both of you! Oh no, you're a pancake. Well, don't worry. We'll put you back into shape soon enough. Now let's make two unicorns and fill them up with sprinkles. And make a sandwich. But let's shake out the excess stuffing. Come on, save some for the cupcakes. Really, there's plenty to go around. Ah, the jelly unicorn. It's gummy royalty. Even if it occasionally breaks out. Well, they're not gonna pop themselves. So that's where ribbon candy comes from. And I guess that's where it ends up. An eyeball? I know who could use one. So bright-eyed and bushy-maned. Time for a bite. Remember, the eye's candy, too. Jelly doesn't stay too long around here. Ooh, a blender. What's she gonna make? Let's see. Cheese? Food coloring. This sure beats grading it by hand. Ooh. 
Ooh, look at all the different colors! But cheese is always better grilled. An explosion of color! But we're not done being crafty. Now for the big event, the cheese pull. Even unicorns can appreciate instant noodles. After all, if it's got the right grooves, you've got yourself the perfect stamp. Of course, instant noodles are for eating. But that doesn't mean they can't be colorful. Now add some water and let it cook. When they said instant, they meant it. And they go as quick as they come. But now, let's take them for a spin. Hmm, I wonder if they're color safe. Heat it up. Push it back into place. And we're really back to basics. Well, into the bag it goes. There's no use crying over spilled milk. But spilled cake is just wrong. Hold on, maybe it's not too late. After all, when life ruins your cake, it's time to whip up some cake pops. A unicorn cake pop with a flower crown. And it's absolutely scrumptious. Okay, we're gonna need some cc's of syrup stat. But first, let's make a little hole and fill it up with melted chocolate. Mmm, chocolate, syrup, and frosting. Ah, love is in the air. And egg is in the chair. It's a unicorn chocolate bomb. You're getting a hot cocoa bath. Oh, thanks for the marshmallows. It's like Christmas in July. Oh, look. There's even a marshmallow rainbow! <laughs> yes, everything's coming up rainbows. <laughs> no, not the ice cream! And the cone, too! Oops. Well, maybe we can make it up to you. Add some strawberries and cream to a bag. And make sure to seal it nice and tight. We got the cream. Now for the ice. Bundle it up and give the mix a nice shake. Pretty soon, it'll all blend together. Now let's make a great big scoop. But why don't we wrap this up? After all, it's all in the presentation. Oh, so good. But don't forget, you still owe him a little something. Is there such a thing as too much candy? <laughs> nah. While you're here, don't miss our bonus episode at the end. Something tells me to open this box. Oh, it's all sticky. Wait a minute. The lock is chocolate! Oh, we can just eat it! Hmm. Look at all these snacks! Let's just hope she didn't fill up on that lock! Vroom, vroom. We're making a candy delivery! Wow, and this machine grabs candy for you! Just fill it up, close the lid, and pick the candy you want. 
Want a bite? Good thing these aren't jawbreakers. It's so small, your pets could play with it. Hey, pick your own. A baby doll? Well, it's fun, but I was expecting candy. And there it is. Wow, a chocolate bath! Spas must charge extra for that. Of course, you can't forget the toppings. Oh good, we're not eating the baby. We've got marshmallows. Looks like we're not done dipping lollipops either. Ooh, a banana. Yeah, something healthy before we eat more candy. So cute! A wow. giant gummy bear! Ooh, he's one tough cookie. A gummy. Eh, whatever. I think a little heat should soften him up. Nice and liquidy. Now take a stick or two and wrap it up. It's like a giant gummy drumstick. Wow, this robot holds your lollipop for you. But more importantly, it holds it for you when you want to put it down. Wow. Always enjoy candy with a friend. Or two. <laughs> Jelly bean soccer. Finally. We need more candy-themed sports. And it looks like we've already got our coach for the big game. Now we can't start this game without jelly beans. Pour them in! We're ready for the big kickoff! Now, coach, come on, collect your prize. Ow. Oh, no. Quick, put that tooth in milk. Is this soccer or hockey? <gasps> A rose. Oh, how romantic. No, don't eat it. You just pair flowers with candy. Luckily, we already have plenty of candy, too. We just need to melt them down and mix it up. Told you you're supposed to pair flowers with candy. <gasps> Just remember, you're still not supposed to eat the rose. We need to do something about those not so pearly whites. There's something off about this toothpaste. Guess you don't exactly need the brush. Good thing too, you can dig into all these different flavors. Wow, they just won't stop trying to reinvent the lollipop. Are you sure that's the part that goes in your mouth? You don't want to miss out on all that delicious syrup. And the toppings. <laughs> this girl loves her toppings. If this thing dispenses candy, you're always a winner. You need a match to win. But it's not like it asks for quarters or anything. We're gonna make it rain! Candy, that is. Phew. It still looks good. Just wipe off the hair. I know sushi's raw, but that fish looks a little too fresh. Can't forget our soy sauce and wasabi. Though they're probably a little sweeter than usual.
Either that or she really likes things spicy. There's probably a market for candy sushi on conveyor belts. Ah, soda. A tried and true classic. Wait, uh, what are you doing? I get that she needed the bottle, but I could have used some soda. Wow, a nice chocolate cone. Let's add some nuts. Hey, do you want some ice cream with all that whipped cream? <laughs> of course, anything as delicious as whipped cream is plenty. All these treats, it's so hard to choose what's next. This one's a little hard to figure out. But at least it tastes all right. It's like it's coming out of its brain. Oh, so that's why they call it that. So much candy, so many delicious flavors. B -b -b Bonus episode. Time to strut your stuff. Not exactly making an entrance, is she? Quick, get out the cold cream. We're gonna need it. Better yet, duct tape. The answer to all life's problems. It takes it off and helps her put it back on. Not like before, but at least it makes an impression. With these wings, she'll be a real social butterfly. <laughs> oh, this tinsel's giving her some ideas. With these clips, they're brand new highlights. As if all that purple hair wasn't already making a statement. And just like that, she's the new life of the party. Remind me to schedule her dentist appointment. Sweet stuff! Catch you next time. A round cake? Oh, please, we can do better than that. Cut out a shape, like so, and add a fondant hat. And maybe a few more final touches. Look, it's -a me, Mario! <laughs> but we're not finished yet. Hmm. Mario's ready to get his groove on. Look at all this candy! Wow, an ice bear! I wonder if he knows any polar bears. It's bath time! Add some tapioca pearls and a nice splash of milk. Now it's time for the rinse cycle. Ahem, it's tea time. Ice tea time. Mmm, chocolate. Oh, you're breaking out. Oh, that gives me an idea. Fill a jelly candy with cream. And cover it up with fondant or marzipan. Now give your candy zit a good squeeze. You can use different colors for the fillings. And squeezing them sure is fun. Wow! But the real fun's in eating them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! It's our friend, the candy unicorn! Fill him up with candy. 
He's part pinata. And press that tail when you want your candy back. Now let's try it out with chocolate. Looks like we're doing it fondue style. Oh, we've got chocolate-covered candies! You can practically taste the magic! Wow, look at all that cotton candy! Just add water, and you win a prize! It's a micro-cooler! Fill up the tank. Put it all together and pour yourself a drink. Wow! When it comes to this girl and lollipops, she likes to go big or go home. So let's melt up some caramel candies and pour it up inside this mold. Quick, add a stick before it dries. Wow! You know, that flat side could come in handy. Remember, all the cool lollipops have wrappers. Next up, it's time to try some chewing foam. First, let's see how it tastes. Now let's get to chewing. And blowing! Guess somebody burst their bubble. Oh, Freddy's seen better days. So has this waffle cone. Let's dip it in chocolate and put the cone back together. Now add some more chocolate. But what else can we add wow. to it? Hmm. Crumble up some cookies and give it a good roll. You know, with the right touches, it can be a witch's hat. Wow. Either way, what's a cone without ice cream? <laughs> eh? Wow, edible paper! And we've got edible ink, too! Well, what you waiting for? Let's get sketching! I wonder what she's drawing. Ooh, a burger! With all the toppings! Wow! On second thought, maybe we should call it a flatbread. Oh, is this gum? Or is it toothpaste? <laughs> well, whatever it is, it sure does stretch Ooh. like gum. <laughs> and it really blows a nice bubble. Well, that's one way to earn your knot tying badge. Mmm, bananas are nature's yeah. candy. But this ain't a banana. Just give it a bite and watch it squirt. Perfect thing when you can't decide on a snack or a drink. Hmm. <laughs> what a cute little chicken. Wow. Let's fill it up and see what it does. Wow, it lays candy! And by the looks of it, golden eggs! The best kind, too! The kind you can eat! Basketball is a fun break with all this candy eating. But with this gadget, we can combine the two. Just fill it up with some delicious candy. And then, see if you can shoot some hoops. Or do you prefer soccer? 
gummy worms are a tried and true classic for a reason. Well, worms and tunnels do go together. So let's give them a nice homecoming, drinks included. The gang's all together, so let's start dancing. Okay, it's time to open everything up. So we can enjoy our brand new giant gummy worm. And it's a big wow. one. Let's add some toppings, like whipped cream. Oh, it's so beautiful. You hesitate to eat it. But not that beautiful. Not all candy comes in solid form. Here are some gels. The trick is to get the stuff in your mouth. This must be one of those sugar skulls. <laughs> or maybe white chocolate. <laughs> the things they can do with skulls. <laughs> Something Ew. feels slimy. Ew, what is it? <laughs> chocolate. The best surprises hmm. are chocolate. Let's lower the temperature in here. And we've got a new way of making a hand mold. A la mode. Can't forget the syrup and sprinkles. What's ice cream without sprinkles? What cute little tennis balls. Want to juggle? I eh, guess not. Hm. Let's try something a little different. Just add milk. And look, this ain't a regular tennis ball. Stir and add some heat. You've got hot chocolate. Ah, her natural habitat. Her secret stash. And it's experiment time. Pour out your fizzy drinks. A little elbow grease. And soon, the whole thing solidifies. It's like a Aww. gummy plate to hold all your gummy candies. Or just eat it as is. That's a good idea, too. Hmm. It's candy and a pinwheel all in one. Cool. But you need to press a button to get it going. It really lets you taste the rainbow all at once. And it really comes in handy on a hot day. You just can't beat hamster prices. More soda? Oh, there's treats inside. Hmm. The real test is taste. Let's give it a lick. Wow, this stuff is so good, she's foaming at the mouth for it. They're tiny, so it's good we stocked up. Looks like we've got a soccer game after all. And it comes with a whole bunch of tiny soccer balls. It's time for the big kick. Let's see how many reach the net. Good thing he's just playing himself. Of course, the real test is in the taste. Chocolate deserves better than this. What can we do? Simple. Just add some nice cream. Fill it up and stick it in the freezer. And you've got a nice new ice cream treat. This hamster's got candy to spare. Good thing we've got this crane machine. 
Turning candy into a game, it's like dinner in a show. Well, dessert in a show. This is candy after all. And winning the candy makes it just all that much sweeter. And you can fill it up with all sorts of things. So even your furry friends get to join the fun. Be careful, we don't want it all to fall wow. down. Eh, c'est la vie. Hey, what are all those orange things? Oh. They look like cheese puffs, but squeeze like slime. Think of what you can make. With the right colors, we can make a burger. Don't forget to remove the plate before eating. Take a bite. Hmm, one of these bananas is not like the other. It's a spray! Give yourself a spritz. Not only does it taste good, it's also a convenient deodorant. Totally sweet stuff! Catch you next time! Looks like today is someone's special day! It's Kitty's birthday! We're gonna need a cake! Just like in our Kitty Cat Cuisine cookbook. Blend it all together and it's practically done. Remember, the birthday cat gets the first slice. In fact, why don't you have the rest of it too? Time to get cracking. These eggs, that is. Let's separate the yolks and the whites in different bottles. We can use them to whip up some excellent artwork. Fry them up just the way you like it. Pretty soon, part of this complete breakfast is served. Ooh, tomatoes? Bacon? Talk about a full breakfast! Mmm, that was good. So, what are we having for brunch? Next up, it's the Kitty Cafe's special drink. It's basically orange drink, but without the orange. But now, let's mix it up with some gelatin. I think Kitty needs your help with the next step. Kitty paws just weren't made for handles. But Kitty's got this next part handled. Carving out a circle so we can make a special fruit dumpling. And look at all the different flavors we can make. Including one with a special secret ingredient. Well, she seems to like them all so far. Do you think she'll notice all the cat treats inside? And this is why you should always watch what you eat. Seriously. What a funny chicken. And it's laying an egg. Wow, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. Do you prefer your eggs fried or... Fruit. Wow, a strawberry! I wonder how it tastes. Wait, this gives Kitty an idea. Like a nice chocolate coating. Wow, it's like a bunch of Cornish hens. I'm pretty sure it won't taste like chicken. But that doesn't mean it isn't delicious. <laughs> this apple might look delicious, but there might just be a worm inside. Don't worry, it's just a gummy worm. 
just what we need for our next recipe. Let's melt these gummy gummies all together. And let's dip one of those apples inside. Soon, it'll be as yummy on the outside as it is gummy on the inside. And with this special mold, they've got Kitty's stamp of approval. Thank you. Ah, an apple a day. Or maybe two. Or four. It's time to dust off the old waffle maker. Cause we're gonna pour some Nutella inside. And voila! We've got a chocolate waffle. So sweet, you don't even need syrup. Looks like Kitty wants to give it a try. But this time, let's use marshmallows. They're not just for cereals or campfires. It should already be pretty sweet. But this time, let's try some syrup. Well, it's time for the big unveiling. Have a bite. Don't keep us waiting. Well, maybe after a little marshmallow pull. So, Miss Mary, how does your garden grow? Wow, what a pretty flower. Is it one of those edible flowers? Well, I guess that answers that. But it looks like Kitty's got an idea. Draw some melted chocolate over ice. Soon, it'll chill into a new shape. A tree. Add cotton candy on top and candy powder on the bottom. With this plant, you can even eat the soil. And enjoy every last bite while you're at it, too. We should whip up a whole forest. Cookies are nice, but this girl's more into the cream. Just imagine how much cream she puts in her tea. Okay, cookies, you've done your job. But don't worry, Kitty's got plans for you. We'll make you into a chocolate-dipped cookie cat. Don't forget the face. Like some sprinkle whiskers. Wow, it's a whole kitten caboodle. They look good, but they taste even better. Oh, pizza. Oh well, hope you like the crusts. Looks like we've got a cat burglar. Don't worry, Kitty's got an idea. Grab some dumplings and flatten them up. Once they're 2D, throw on some sauce. Now for a few of your favorite toppings. And pizza isn't pizza without cheese. Looks like it's almost done. But first, how about a little personalized pizza? You've heard of stuffed crust before? Well, this pizza's nothing but stuffed. Oh, sushi! With soy sauce for dipping. Well, someone needs to get a grip. But how about we think outside the roll and add the ingredients in a donut mold? 
squeeze in tight and add some nori. Of course, knowing her, it's not complete without adding some special sauce. Now it's finger food with an edible wrapper. Oh, pink noodles. I wonder if they're spicy. Well, Kitty wants to play it safe and puts them through the rinse cycle. Ah, Kitty's favorite flavor, plain. Ah, just kidding. Kitty's gonna add a few ingredients and blend it all together. Now add to a cup Add some cinnamon on top, and it's noodles you can drink. Today's the big day. It's Kitty's birthday. You're going to need a birthday cake. Just one suited to a more feline palate. Still, all the best cakes have sprinkles and a birthday candle to blow out. Happy birthday! Make a wish, Kitty! Open your present! It's a Roblox doll! Um, I think we need to clean her up. At least she'll smell minty fresh. We'll say it's that new peppermint perfume. Let's turn her frown upside down. Some clothes and hair should help too. Now cover her legs with the glove. And tie up all those loose fingers. Pour on some glue, spread it out, and it's time for glitter. Keep it coming. Our little mermaid could use a dip in the pool. It's Kitty's favorite vowels. Oh no! At least we still got I, O, and U. Hmm, but maybe we can fix them up. Now let the magic potty do its thing. Oh, they've never been closer. Keep them on the ground this time. Time for a guessing game. Pick one. Oh, you want a unicorn. A candy unicorn. Just feed it some melted chocolate. And soon, you get a few surprises. Cute little bite-sized pieces of candy. Oh, you got a fish. So grab an old Barbie bed. And with a few adjustments, it's a new tank. Of course, we can't forget the water. What else is our fish going to swim in? And look, these fish come in a pair. Love is in the air. Uh, water. Look, a sand ducky. Oh, now it's just sand. How would you like a marshmallow ducky instead? They go great in a cup of hot cocoa. Especially when it's all blue like this. Look at all the candy. You hit the Whoa. jackpot. Oh no, your lollipop. It's okay, we've got more. And this time, we'll be ready. Our new tiger friends got your back. 
and, more importantly, your candy. Next, it's your favorite, toothpicks. So, anyone up for a 52 pickup? But next time, let's keep them in here. Now, when you need a new toothpick, our new bird friend can pick it up for you. And you can go back to making stick houses. Wow, look at all those bubbles! But we're just getting things started. It's a bubble machine. Press play and watch it go. I think Kitty's a fan. And he's not the only one. Look who's here. It's Jimmy the pig. Hmm, he doesn't look too good. Don't worry, we can fix him up. Oh, wait a minute. I see the problem. He's got a smaller pig inside him. Looks like he's got something inside him, too. It's a tiny gray mouse. The gifts just keep coming. Speaking of which, you got a new dumpling maker. Knead the dough and don't forget your favorite filling. We can make as many as we want. And we can even try out a few new flavors. Yeah, he prefers sweet to savory. Just make sure you pick the right one. Now let's make Kitty a brand new friend. And I think he'll be a good influence. Unless, of course, Kitty gets to him first. Of course, Kitty can always make his own friends. Let the soap harden. Flip it over. And help our new friend put his face on. Aw, oh, what a bright little guy. Look, you got a card. And it's got money. With all this cash, it'll be like your birthdays every day. After all, think of all the crafts we can do with them. Cut out a bunch of hearts and fold them all together. Make it into a circle and it's a brand new toy. Fun like this is truly priceless. Look, Kitty. A cup with all your favorite letters. Not impressed? How about we take some foil? Add some clay. And add a few finishing touches. Look who's here, our old pal A. Aw, they're already best friends. Ooh, berries! Hmm. Hey, don't play with your food. And keep your paws to yourself. Ugh, what a mess. Next time, just use the micro mixer. All you do is push a button. 
and there's no mess to worry about. Let's pour this mix into a bowl for our kitty cat friend to enjoy. Ooh, a balloon! Careful, your claws! Well, at least we still got the duck. Hmm, maybe we can still use the balloon. Drop a surprise inside, and a whole lot of water. Freeze it, and it'll survive any cat scratch fever. Of course, Kitty still wants the prize inside. I think there's time for one last present. It's a mini projector! Just put it together. Dim the lights. And Kitty's the star of the show. Hey, look out! That's Kitty's favorite toy! Oops! You wouldn't like it if he broke something of yours. Bring out the treats! Aw, uh -huh. oh, that didn't work! Maybe your old pal Kane can help! And look! Ragatha's yeah. here too! Hey! Plus Pomni! And the rest! The circus is in town! Okay, your phone is safe! For now! Hey look! Pomni's got herself a pimple! And it's positively pulsating with pus. Popping it's gonna be a delicate situation. So that's where Pomni's come from. It's time for Kitty's favorite game and mine. Catch the dot. Hey, careful where you aim it. Uh-oh, he scratched up your phone. I know. Roll up some air-dry clay into a ball. Now grab a little coil to place on top. Make two for a fresh pair of buns. You're gonna need something to wear. And we've got just the thing you need. A balloon bikini! Zubal's ready to hit the beach! <laughs> hey, look! Dentures! Uh -huh. Silly kitty, don't touch! It goes in your mouth! And they're brittle! Aw, don't cry, kitty! It's just candy! Grab an umbrella. Eh, close enough. I know something that will cheer up Kitty. A visit from a familiar friend. Just add teeth. Maybe an eyeball or two. And it's Kane. Speaking of Kane, <laughs> voila! And now we dance! <laughs> A gift! Don't shake it too hard. Never mind, these little guys were made for shaking. Down they go, but they always bounce back. Uh oh, so close, yet still out of reach. Don't worry, you can make new friends. Aww. In fact, I think a new one's on the way. Uh -huh. Take an egg, add clay and a face on top. And pretty soon, the gang's all here. So let's get the party started. Ooh, I think Kitty's found buried treasure. Okay, maybe treasure's not the right word. 
How about Fixer Upper? Just grab a sock. It can be your doll's brand new dress. Now let's do something about that eye. Ew. And a new do can work wonders. Just remember, sometimes less is more. Much better. Just add a bow on top. She's a brand new doll. A rag doll. Ragatha. Wow, a unicorn with wings. And look, Bubbles, you've won the pony jackpot. And it looks like Kitty agrees. If only Bubbles lasted a little longer. Well, if unicorn Bubbles don't last, we'll use something even more magical. Nanotape. You can even draw a little face on it. Don't worry, this bubble looks tough. Okay, Pomni, it's time to stretch. Now wave those arms and stretch legs. Ooh, Kitty's up for a little tug of war. Uh-oh. Well, at least you tried. Meh. Here. Something to drink will cheer you up. How about we cut up the straw into sprinkles? We need some string and some beads. Soon, we'll have a Pomni marionette. Now it's time to move those joints. Mini Pomni! She'll fit right into our little glass bowl. But first, it's time for some housekeeping. Wow. We'll fill it up with a sea full of stars. But Pomni's the real star of this snow globe. Whoa. And more importantly, she's safe and sound. Grab your gloves. It's time for a little spring cleaning. Just be careful with that mop. Uh-oh. Well, at least you've got a new puzzle. Maybe we can whip up something new. After all, with enough popsicle sticks, you can make your own Ferris wheel. Uh huh. Now we're gonna need another photo. Perfect. Now print it out. Come on, these kitties are going for a ride. Round and round they go. I think Kitty's a fan. I hear Pomni wants a new look. No, how about this instead? Not that. Okay, we really need to rethink this. Hey, careful! You ruined her drawing. Well, don't get mad, get crafting. These cups can make a whole new head switching machine. We can try to match the head with the right body. Hold on, go back. There we go. Sure, your phone's fun, but let's play. Come on, we've got puppets. Puppets! Uh-oh, you've made Kitty cry. Wait, she's got an idea. 
Grab pictures and a cardboard box. Uh-huh. Add a rim and some beads. Now Kitty's got a brand new game. And you can go back to your phone. Happy birthday, Kitty! Have a cat cake! Of course, what goes in must come out. But that's not all the litter box has got. There's a surprise! Just wash it off. It's a new Play-Doh set. And I guess we're keeping with the litter box theme. But when it comes to clay, always remember, sometimes you gotta knead that dough. Should have guessed there was leftover cake. You can see it on your teeth. Let's brush. Looks like you need help with that toothpaste. Kitty's got you. Use a toothpaste nozzle. Well, if it works, it works. Just squeeze. Your teeth will thank you. Much better. Now, gimme paw. Look, Kitty, a birthday card. And now it's confetti. You could use a friend. It's Party Pal. And he knows what to do with confetti. Just watch him work. It's like we've got our very own One Pal Parade. It can make every day its own party. <laughs> of course, we might need a cleanup crew. Gesundheit. Ooh, can we borrow that slime? Our friend here can blow it up. Just not for long. Sorry, not sorry to burst your bubble. Ooh, nice extensions. But you could use a little trim. Not that much. Oh, don't worry. Our braid maker can help. Just run some thread through the hole and start spinning. Round and round it goes. And soon, you'll get a new braid. Now it's time to do some flips. It's hard to top string when it comes to Kitty. But I think we're about to accept that challenge. With our brand new tightrope walking toy. Though I don't think Kitty's a fan just yet. Ah, oh, Kitty's made a friend. But who needs vermin when you can have a digital pet? Careful, keep your paws to yourself. Oh, Kitty just loves the smash cake you got her. Wait, that wasn't the smash cake. Whoops. Maybe we can salvage it. See, a pair of fresh buns. And just wait until you try this filling. Your favorite flavor, too. Blue. Now make a wish. Wow. And take a great big birthday bite. Oh, no. You're cotton candy. Quick, catch it. Water. Wait, no. That'll just make it... Well, at least we got to the prize. It's a jelly booty. And there's more where that came from. And they're all extra squishy. But more importantly, they're also delicious. Okay, Kitty, it's bath time. Here's your cap. Huh? Oh, right. Cats don't like water. I know. Wow. What about a twist mm -hmm. on a mud bath? 
We'll use chocolate spread instead. Plus a few candy toppings. And who can say no to a little marshmallow dip? Now let's try this lollipop. Mmm, yum. Squishing grapes? I think Kitty wants to help. Now I think we should drain the mix. And add a whole bunch of gummy worms. Soon we'll have a great big jelly on a stick. Which means we'll take a great big bite. Want some, Kitty? Mm-hmm. Well, to each his own. I mean, you did put your feet in it. But that's not all that's in there. Look, lollipops. Now this, Kitty's got to try. Looks like it's time to break out our secret stash. Careful, or Kitty will notice. She noticed! Okay, remember, we've planned for this. Add cream inside and a candy cover. Cut out a cute little dome shape. And there are a bunch of candy pimples. Not too appetizing, are they, kitty cat? Well, that just leaves more for the rest of us. Kitty's done with your average kibble. Add candy, soda, and some salt. And voila! It's a giant jelly bear! Big enough for a whole teddy bear's picnic. But now, why don't we melt it up? We're gonna use it to blow some bubbles. Bubbles you can eat in all shapes and sizes. I know, let's mix it up like taffy. Either way, it still tastes great. This case will keep your AirPods safe and sound for a while. Oh no, the case is only weakness. Gravity! Quick, you need to catch it before. Never mind. Why do I feel like Kitty planned this? This is bad. The plunger's on vacation. <laughs> Luckily, chocolate's the answer to everything. Just pour it into the empty case. They'll harden into new candy AirPods. They're perfect for dipping, especially with toppings. Of course, they don't last too long. But I guess we can always make more. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's time for Kitty's favorite game. Catch the red dot. You win the jackpot. We're talking all the candies. Hey, watch where you're stepping. On second thought, maybe we should shrink it to fit. Now add a heel, some color, and sprinkles? And we've got shoes cute enough to eat! Careful with those blocks! Someone might... Never mind. Calm down! It's not like it broke the skin. This time. Don't worry, Kitty is a cat with a plan. Look, it's the letter E, the second wow. vowel. How about we press it in the sand? 
Now fill it with jelly. Try to match the blocks. Marshmallows sure no. taste good. But they can be murder on your teeth. I guess you really are what you eat. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, let's fill up this dino poppet toy. Looks like the forecast calls for a little chocolate drizzle. Oh, this already looks like one delicious dino. Who knew fossils could be so fluffy? They're fun to poke, but even more fun to eat. Mmm, nothing's gonna ruin this day. Oh, I just had to jinx it. But quick! Save that chewing candy. Roll it up with some more candy. Uh -huh. Twist it all up for an extra big bite. No. Better yet, add candy seaweed, candy rice, and some candy sashimi for candy sushi. Ooh, candy wasabi. Now that's fancy. No. You just gotta no, love fusion no, food. No. You know, Kitty, some pets fetch slippers. Ew. But it's okay. Kitty will make it up to you. Let's mash these berries into a paste. This piping bag should come in handy. Mm -hmm. Cool. You can draw whatever shape you like. Now cover it all up with batter. Bake it up, and once it's done, add some cream. Now it's time to roll it up to show off those hearts. Mmm, why don't we slice it up? Mm -hmm. And now it's time to take a bite! Hey, your pizza's huh? here! Cool. Well, it was here! Uh. Kitty, you are so not getting a tip! Yay. <laughs> well, wow. we might as well get cooking! Add chewing candy to a glue gun. And draw yourself up a brand new slice of pizza. Mmm, everything just tastes better on a stick. Ooh, jelly ducks. And the flock's all here. And it's just so squishy, too. Maybe I shouldn't have said squish. Hey, keep your slime to yourself. Well, into the mini unicorn it goes. And soon, we've got unicorn candies. Ah, she's always scooping rainbows. Oh, calm down. We can always make more. Start by grinding up some cookies in a blender. Next, let's pour it out into a tray. And unwrap a whole bunch of candies. Roll them up together. And whip it up into a spiral. And soon, we've got a brand new batch of rainbow swirls. I'm getting deja vu. Oh, the jelly's new. 
You've got the sweetest little horn. Especially when it comes with filling. But there's always room for improvement. And by improvement, I mean sprinkles. Let's see if it passes the taste test. It does! With flying colors. But they don't all have jelly inside. Some have powder instead. And by powder, I mean bubble gum. Aw, so cute. But horses are always a classic. Still, who can say no to a makeover? Let's just finish up your haircut. and pour on some melted chocolate. And now it's time for a pedicure. Add some sparkle to those hooves. But don't forget some new hair. We're gonna need some rainbows, lots of them. This pony looks good enough to eat. And I think she'll do just that. Ooh, a squishy unicorn. Let's blow it up. Wait, don't! Oh, you just had to burst her bubble. Well, if we can't beat him, join him. Slice up another squishy unicorn and fill it up with some sprinkles and lemonade. I think she's had her fill. In fact, I think you've sprung a leak. Either way, I think she's got enough to share. Uh-oh, look out, unicorn! Both of you! Oh no, you're a pancake. Well, don't worry. We'll put you back into shape soon enough. Now let's make two unicorns and fill them up with sprinkles. And make a sandwich. But let's shake out the excess stuffing. Come on, save some for the cupcakes. Really, there's plenty to go around. Ah, the jelly unicorn. It's gummy royalty. Even if it occasionally breaks out. Well, they're not gonna pop themselves. So that's where ribbon candy comes from. And I guess that's where it ends up. An eyeball? I know who could use one. So bright-eyed and bushy-maned. Time for a bite. Remember, the eye's candy, too. Jelly doesn't stay too long around here. Ooh, a blender. What's she gonna make? Let's see. Cheese? Food coloring. This sure beats grading it by hand. Ooh, look at all the different colors. But cheese is always better grilled. An explosion of color. But we're not done being crafty. <laughs> now for the big event, the cheese pole. Even unicorns can appreciate instant noodles. After all, if it's got the right grooves, you've got yourself the perfect stamp. Of course, instant noodles are for eating, but that doesn't mean they can't be colorful.
Now add some water and let it cook. When they said instant, they meant it. And they go as quick as they come. But now, let's take them for a spin. Hmm, I wonder if they're color safe. Heat it up. Push it back into place. And we're really back to basics. Well, into the bag it goes. There's no use crying over spilled milk. But spilled cake is just wrong. Hold on, maybe it's not too late. After all, when life ruins your cake, it's time to whip up some cake pops. A unicorn cake pop with a flower crown. <laughs> and it's absolutely scrumptious. Okay, we're gonna need some cc's of syrup stat. Yeah. But first, let's make a little hole and fill it up with melted chocolate. Mmm, chocolate, syrup, and frosting. Ah, oh, love is in the air. And egg is in the chair. It's a unicorn chocolate bomb. You're getting a hot cocoa bath. Oh, thanks for the marshmallows. It's like Christmas in July. Oh, look. There's even a marshmallow rainbow! <laughs> Guess everything's coming up rainbows. <laughs> no, not the ice cream! And the cone, too! Oops. Well, maybe we can make it up to you. Add some strawberries and cream to a bag. And make sure to seal it nice and tight. We got the cream. Now for the ice. Bundle it up and give the mix a nice shake. Pretty soon, it'll all blend together. Now let's make a great big scoop. But why don't we wrap this up? After all, it's all in the presentation. Oh, so good. But don't forget, you still owe him a little something. Hmm, making cookies? No, we're playing with Play-Doh. And making a whole batch of new friends. Just be careful when you squeeze them. I'm sure that'll wash right out. Joke's on you. She's keeping the bucket. Just look what's inside. Tape. And chocolate. The pre-melted kind. Let's bring these two great things together. Now just seal it up nice and tight. And we've got our own little buddy. Ain't he a stinker? The circus? No, even better, candy. Talk about bite-sized. Have some more. Ooh, it's on a roll. And speaking of circus, look, it's our old pal Pomni. And she's got a surprise inside. It's rainbow candy. And it's pre-chewed. Now that's a time saver. Ooh, look.
looks like a baby banana's on its way. Now, you might feel a slight pinch. Aw, happy birthday. Wow, now that's what I call a bouncing baby banana. I know, let's make a banana mold. Fill it with googly eyes and hot glue. Let it dry, and pretty soon, we've got twins. Make that triplets. Probably fraternal. Ooh, it's cute and in plushy form. Well, she sure makes an impression. But he could still use a good wash. Well, it's time for the rinse cycle. Aw, he's her little cutie pie. Looks like A's going through a phase. He needs a haircut and a dermatologist. Acne patches save the day. Now let's brush those teeth. And A's back on his A game. Ooh, we'd better call a plumber. Ew. But first, let's cover it up with popping buttons. Well, they're not gonna pop themselves. Hmm. Don't be jealous. Just grab an old gum pack. And our pal P wants to play too. You know, she always wanted an 8-pack. <laughs> Time to clear the table, cause we've got rocking toys. Knock them down, and they spring right back up. Or, you can grab an old eggshell, add a little something inside, and let the good times roll. Is that a camera? No, it's a bubble machine. Let's get popping. Wow. And if you really like bubbles, cut up some straws into tiny pieces. And stack them together in a circle. Oh, look, add an eye and it's... Oh! And he's your new bubble wand. Don't hold your breath. Blow a big bunch of bubbles. What's wrong? Oh, I see. There's a pincher on the loose. And he's got a need for speed. But don't worry. Grab some supplies. And we can whip up some imitation crab. We'll start with some nice big eyes. And every crab needs claws. It's even got that great fishy smell. What a cute mouse. And look, one good squeeze and he'll help you put on your glitter. Well, slime's cool, but here's an idea. Grab an old plastic glove, add a face, now place it inside a plastic cup. Add a straw, and you'll have a new friend that'll always give you a hand. Oh, a caterpillar! And just look at those eyes! Well, all we need is some balloons. Blow one up and cut up the other. 
Bring them together and draw some eyes. All that's left is to give it a good squeeze. Jeepers creepers, where'd you get those eyes? <laughs>